Okay, so here is a five panel urinary drug screen that I ordered off of Medical Disposables. This one tests for opiates, methamphetamine, cocaine, marijuana, and amphetamines. And these little windows here will tell you, there'll be a little abbreviation in here. I know you can't see it on the video, but you will when you order it what drug it's actually looking for in each of these windows. And then down here you have these five little dipsticks. Um, the ones I order come with this little cup. They have a little thermometer on them. You wanna make sure that the urine is body temperature. I really never look at the thermometer. Um, obviously you can do that to be um, real scientific about it, but honestly what I do is when the kid hands it to me, I just, when I take it in my hand, you can tell if it's body temperature or not. I mean, you'll know if it's cold or if it's hot. That doesn't sound right. Once you have the urine, and you really don't need a whole lot, just a little, you will dip the test down in the urine, and you wanna sort of submerge it right up into where this plastic part right here starts. And then you're gonna hold it in there probably 30 seconds or so. You'll see the urine start to creep up in these little windows here. And once you can see that the urine's kind of gotten into those windows, it's creeped all the way up to the top, you'll just put the lid on it, You'll set the test down. It takes a minute or so to come up with the full results. And then here's important. I want you to keep the pee right there. Sit on the coffee table, kitchen table, wherever you're at, until everyone has looked at these results and everyone's agreed on them. The reason I want you to wait is because what if your test doesn't work? And what if it's invalid? What if it says one result and the kid is arguing with you back and forth about it? Then you've thrown away the pee, and if you want to do another test, then they're going to say, but I just peed, I don't have to pee anymore. But now they've bought themselves a lot of times, and most of the time if there's a discrepancy, the reason is going to be because the test says positive, and the kid's saying, no, I didn't, I swear, you know, and they're doing the song and dance. I'm going to give you the amber version of how to read this test. There are official instructions, which I want you to read. They come in the package and they're the scientific version. And basically what they say is you're looking for two lines. I know you can't really see it on here, but trust me, you will. In each window, there are gonna be these little lines on these tests, they're kind of pink or red looking. They're gonna come up and you wanna see the top lines going all the way across or what is referred to as the control line. So a line on the top means the test is valid. The bottom line has a little T by it that stands for test. That's your actual test line. And so simple and short is you wanna see two lines all the way across. If you're missing a line, something's not right. If you're missing a top line, it means something's not working about your test. I've rarely ever seen that. If you're missing a bottom line, that means they're positive for that substance. Now, I'm gonna tell you, if you're new to this, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna freak out because some of the lines are gonna be darker than others. This is not that sophisticated of a test. This is a like two or three dollar test. So you're not looking at a test that has the capability of saying, ooh, they're real clean or they're sorta of clean or they're like really dirty or whatever. If you give your kid this test and it says they're positive for something, and they start throwing a fit on you and they say, no way, not possible, I haven't used, that's ridiculous, here's what I want you to do. You're not power struggling, you're an ally to your kid, you're not trying to catch them, you say, you know what, these are really cheap tests, they're like plastic, you know, this could totally be wrong, let me get another one. And you just walk into the little closet or bathroom wherever you keep them and you pull another one right out of there. You say, let's do another one. And then you do the same procedure because you've kept your pee because you're smart. <laughs> and you're ahead of the game, you're three steps ahead now. So um, those are just a few of the little tricks. There's a bunch more and I go into a lot more sort of specific details in the outline below. So I hope this is helpful. Remember, this isn't a medical or legal guide to drug screening, this is the practical parent's guide to preventing, this is one tool for helping to prevent ongoing drug use. Alcohol, now that's a whole different story, and we'll leave that for a, a later date. Good luck.